Welcome to Nature Book Review, a video showcasing books on nature and wildlife. Insects and spiders. They are present throughout the planet. They are present in the polar region, they are present in the desert, they are present even at the height of 20,000 feet in the Himalayas. Now, there are differences between insects and spiders because spiders many times are confused as insects. Spiders, ticks, mites, scorpion, they form a group called arachnids. They will have four pairs of legs, whereas insects invariably will have three pairs of legs. Okay. Now, insects and spiders, they are present in all ecosystem and it's like without them, ecosystem may not run efficiently because plants require insects and to control insects, there is a uh, presence of spiders. Now, in case of India, there are very few books dedicated to this topic because India being tropical and subtropical country, there's a vast diversity of these creatures. And there's one book which is called as Insects and Spiders of Kanha Tiger Reserve by Aniruddha Dhamorikar. So front page, you will see a title of the book, name of the author, illustrated insects and spiders, the publisher, etc. On the back side, if you see, there's a photograph of the author and it claims to have around 600 species photo documented for the first time for Kana Tiger Reserve. Most of the photographs have been taken by author himself. Very few have been taken from others and they have been credited over here. Now, if you go to the book, you will find that there are a lot many photographic illustrations. Uh, let's go to the content page. There's a preface about the book about the Kana Tiger Reserve. Now it has been divided into different sections. Section 1 is key for insects and spiders. Section 2 is on insects. Section 3 is on spiders. Section 4 is on role of insects and spiders. Section 5 is discussion. Section 6 is index. Now if you go to a section 1 that is Key to key for insects and spider is very very beautiful illustration black and white illustrations and on the left hand side you will see a description how to identify insect and spider in the field now these drawings have been made by author himself key for spiders so this is a basic morphology of a spider and spiders have been identified based on the position of the eyes now if you see on the right hand side there's a color coding given so that corresponds to the specific group of insects or spiders if you go through the plates you can see there are photographs given and each page is loaded with photographs now this is a single plate this is plate 14 and those these photographs have been named as 14a 14b 14c etc now the best part of this book is the author goes to species level as far as possible at least up to the family level now this kind of uh, taxonomic identification is required for indian continent because there's a lot many to be discovered and lot many are yet uh, not been identified now the there are two things which I, uh, I can think about this book is the font size is little less but of course it is not a big problem comparing the contents of the book the data that has been loaded in the book the other problem uh, which i can see is the size the size of the insects has not been mentioned but that should not be a problem because each and every photograph gives you a minor detail of the field identification so if you have any problem you can go back to the insect key over here then last is about okay so these are the spiders and last the in, uh, the author has given the index of the species found in the uh, kanha tiger reserve at the end you will see uh, of course glossary which is very very important for insects and spiders because there are many terminologies which are which which have latin and greek origin and of course there's a bibliography and at the end you will see a postscript about the corbett foundation now this is a very very good book which is very much required for uh, many parts of india